Hey, I'm Mary Ellen Kuhn. Fats and oils are essential ingredients for the flavor and texture of foods, but having better for you options available is critical to the health of the population. So ingredient makers are working hard to deliver fats and oils with improved nutritional profiles. Let's chat with two exhibitors that are showcasing novel products at the 2014 IFT Food Expo. My name is Dalit Nakasi. I'm the Director of Innovation for Bungie North America Oil, Bungie Oils Division. What our customers are concerned with when they are looking at the health and wellness initiatives, especially looking at the fats and oils uh, and in terms of saturates, in terms of polys and monos, the balance between the two fatty acids, and also looking at the hydrogenation, partial versus fully hydrogenation, what would be the implication when the partial hydrogenate disappears or goes away? How do we manage or mitigate that in terms of product development and application? That's what we're hearing from our customers. There is a lot of uh, that what Bungie does in terms of health and wellness, not only from the shortening aspect of, but also on the liquid oil perspective. We're looking at the structural lipids. We're looking at bringing the nutritional health aspect of it to the, Bungie, uh, to, the to, to our consumers. Our structural lipids are, which has phytosterols in there. We have a CLA um, variants of it. We're also demonstrating those products here. We're really focused on bringing our pedestal up in terms of nutrition and health and bringing the picture to the lips and fats and oil industry that lipids are not completely bad for you. You can use, a, you can use the chemistry, you can understand the, what the important aspect of this and bring them into the forefront and show the customer consumers that you can use the food which is containing these essential fatty acids in combination with other things that are bringing the functionality of the products and, and be able to be, deliver a healthy product. The product prototypes we are showcasing here are, we call a saturating technology, which is basically reducing the saturation in our products. Uh, and also we're introducing products with reduced sats as well as no hydro products. We are also showing uh, the delta oil structure lipids that are healthy and health, health wellness initiatives. We've done clinical uh, studies and showing the reduction of LDL, reduction of um, total cholesterol, and maintaining the healthy uh, HDL as well as maintaining the weight. We have the clinical studies done on those oils that's all we're showcasing here. I'm Susan Knowlton and I'm a senior research manager with DuPont Pioneer. And Plenish is a high oleic soybean oil that we developed specifically for the food industry to move away from partially hydrogenated fats. Any application that um, will present an environment where an oil will go rancid typically is a good application for Plenish. So the food industry has had a lot of difficulty getting away from partially hydrogenated oils for baking applications in particular because of the need for solid fat. And because it's a very stable oil, it uh, provides a high stability liquid base to which you can add solid fat fractions for, for making lower saturate shortenings. I'm Dave Tegeter. I'm the senior marketing manager for the DuPont Plenish venture in Johnston, Iowa. We are introducing uh, Plenish High Lake soybeans to, uh, to the U.S. market, and it really is the reinvention of soybean oil. Uh, one of the problems with soybean oil is that, as Susan okay. explained, uh, is very high in polyunsaturated fat, but it goes rancid very quickly. And so the U.S. soybean industry has lost roughly four billion pounds of business in the edible food market. Because in the old days, we used to hydrogenate soybean oil, but that created trans fats. And obviously with trans fat labeling, people wanted to move away back to basically a liquid oil without trans fat, which left you at the base oil and so it didn't have the stability. What we have done is basically put that stability back into the soybean. This is really going to allow soybeans to compete with those more stable oils, such as sunflower and canola. Being a high oleic oil, we have 75% oleic acid, or monounsaturated fat, so it's very heart healthy, uh, on, along with delivering the functionality that a food manufacturer is going to need uh, for extended shelf life or if I'm a dry mix, that it's not going to go rancid over time.